It's my dream to travel as far as I want without polluting our planet. And I feel like we're on our way there. It's just wonderful. Jean-Baptiste Loiselet has been in the air for five hours and he's covered 220 kilometers today. He must be back there. Ah, there he is. Loiselet is on the 15th leg of his airborne Tour de France. He's landing in Groyer in the south of the country. The tour is intended to promote his project, Wings for the Planet. Wow. What a flight! The adventurer and engineer quit his job to focus exclusively on his solar-powered glider. His invention draws curious onlookers wherever he goes, and they want to know how it works. My glider takes off on its own, with this propeller. It may seem small, but it's a metre across in diameter. It's powered by batteries, and they are charged by the solar cells on the wings. Loiselet spent three years working on the glider and put all his savings into the prototype. I'm impressed. It's very smooth here. He completely integrated the solar cells into the wings. I'm an engineer and a pilot, and I have an idea of how much work went into this. I think it's fantastic. It makes you dream. Dream of climate-friendly flight without emitting a single gram of CO2. It's already happening. See? It can fly. He's preparing for the next leg of the tour. Either I'll fly to Montpellier, to Pic saint loup or I'll fly over Florac. The engineer loves nature and technology. He used to work designing underwater robots. Once near the South Pole, he watched a young albatross in flight. Albatrosses in flight are fabulous. They inspired me. I said I wanted to fly like them one day. This year, Loiselet is touring France by air, more than 2,000 kilometers. It's how he imagines the future of travel. I'm currently 7,000 feet above Mont Saint-Michel. Many in the aeronautics industry think he's out of his mind. Loiselet is convinced that even jumbo jets will one day fly powered by the sun alone, emission-free. Of course, it's hard to imagine a Boeing or Airbus with solar cells, but modern photovoltaic cells harness just 20% of the energy. In 10 to 20 years, it might be 40 or 60%. Planes might be traveling at just 400 kilometers an hour instead of 800, but that's enough for domestic flights. During takeoff in Groyer, Loiselet demonstrates his invention. Conventional gliders need a winch or a motorized plane to start, and a lot of energy. But Loiselet makes it up into the air on his own. Bye bye, Gruyer. My Tour de France is almost over. The aviation pioneer is already planning his tour of Europe to get even more people on board with the dream of flying with the power of the sun.